Welcome back. And with me is Julius Nasso, who's one of the leading producers, also a New York resident, and an organizer of the Heal the World with Love and Music concert. So uh, Julius, welcome. And I can't wait to hear all about this concert. So, and this is really like you say, Heal the World. This is really stemming from the pandemic, right? Yes, that's correct. Okay, yeah. so let's start with just what gave you the idea. And then let's go into a little more details about it. Yeah, well, I traveled back and forth uh, between Italy and New York and China. Mm. And uh, I was producing a show uh, last uh, May in Beijing, uh, which was the Asian cultural uh, uh, event uh, where uh, the president, Xi, had put together 48 uh Asian countries, and uh, he made them perform at the um, uh, Bird's Nest Stadium, uh, and each country had to perform a cultural dance uh, from their own country. And um, it was very successful. Uh, it was the largest uh, show uh, ever recorded in the history of entertainment as a concert. This pandemic has caused a lot of international tension, um, particularly with China. And you were just mentioned you were in China. So is this one way an attempt to try to, um, you know, bring some people together and heal? I mean, it's called heal. So is this really what you're looking to do? Well, uh, yes. Basically, I was asked uh, by the office of the president of Italy, because I was in Italy uh, as far as February 18th. So I came back to New York and uh, got together during the <laughs> during the uh, uh, coronavirus uh, epidemic uh, with many of uh, my producer uh, friends and colleagues. And uh, we developed uh, the concert for the Italian government, uh, which basically is going to be in uh, September of 21. And the purpose of it is to raise funds for the research uh, in science to help research find a vaccine. So how does it work logistically? Yes, there'll be three separate concerts, and each concert would be geared to the citizens of that country. Charity Brands is one of the largest uh, companies uh, that handle all of the uh, fundraising and sponsors. And you punch the iPhone if you want to give them a dollar, two dollars, or whatever they want to pledge. Those monies would go to various uh, foundations and institutes that will be identified uh, that are specialists in medical research. Music has this kind of unique ability to heal. Um, it's, you know, it's a way to bring people together. So this, I mean, is that really the thought and the philosophy behind this is a way we can move on from this, the scary virus, and heal and look to a future that's much better for all of us. Yeah, I mean, after what the world has gone through, the majority of the world, uh, basically being isolated in your homes, not going to work, not having your businesses open, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, there's, it's caused tremendous, tremendous amounts of um, uh, losses, businesses, restaurants, uh, some of them will never recover. It's an incentive for uh, the, the public uh, to have some sort of hope. People lost a lot of friends. I mean, yeah. with the virus, I've, I have. I've, I've lost many, many friends, including an uncle, a niece, uh, as young as 35 years old, you know. Uh, and in order to uh, take the depression, which I would say a word as depression, out of the minds of, of, of the public and, 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 and give them something of hope, you see, uh, throughout the years, 
it's been music that gives you the sensitivity of life in the sense of it makes you feel good. Why do we go to concerts? Okay. We go to concerts because when we come out of concerts or while we're during the concerts, we forget all our headaches. We forget all our problems and we feel good. We either sing along or, you know, it's, it, it, it's part of life. You see, it's not anything different when, you know, you go to religious <clears throat> uh, uh, worship or regardless of what religion you are, you know, during the masses or during, you know, uh, the ceremonies is always singing. You know, it, 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 it helps the serotonin levels. It makes you feel good. It gives you that extra incentive to be able to battle the negatives that are going to come the next day. Yeah. Well, and I think, you know, this has been one of the hardest things I've ever lived through. Maybe the hardest. I mean, when all this, I mean, it's, it's prolonged and there's a lot of anxiety. And my husband and I are both small business owners. And we have kids and they've been out of school. And so, um, you know, it's been, it's been really tough. And I really do think that uh, there's something about music that helps the psyche that will be part of this whole healing process. Basically, the initial structure is the three countries because they were the ones that got affected initially. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, from there, we're going to build and develop now the entire project. We're, we're, we're in the process of uh, negotiating uh, two very famous uh, U.S. producers, uh, one for New York and one for L.A. I'll be able to announce that probably within the next 10 days. Okay, well, uh, it'll be here before you know it. And I appreciate, you know, the effort of putting together something like this. So I'm excited about seeing it uh, come to fruition. Excellent. And once we're there, hopefully we could invite you and uh, love to have you.